Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentice Demond, and I help those with severe inflammation naturally beat the swelling, pain, and energy drain so they can live their best life. In today's video, we are doing a review on Penta Ultra Purified Water, all right? So if you have not seen any of these videos before, you want to smash that subscribe button to get more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to improve your overall wellness. And if you're serious about the water that you're consuming, there's a masterclass. I have a water wellness masterclass that's available. It's in the description. Go ahead and click that link and you'll see exactly what our water is doing to us um, and find out what water is best for your health. That being said, let's go ahead and open up Penta Ultra Purified Water. And it, it looks nice. I like the purple. The purple is nice. It's a little bit of a, it's like a royal purple. It's pretty nice. And we are going to be testing against our electrolyzed reduced water. Oh, not yet. So. Um, we're going to be testing this water for three specific things. The first one is antioxidants, the second is alkalinity, and third, superior hydration. So let's jump into the first one, antioxidants. This one is the most important test and it's why I do it first. It's because everything around us, the foods that we eat, the air that we breathe, um, a lot of the pollution and things around us, our cell phones, all this stuff creates free radicals and this oxidation that happens in our cells. That oxidation ends up leading to inflammation and those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. So if you're experiencing any type of itis, that is inflammation happening in your body, okay? And so we want to reduce the amount of things that we're consuming that are, that are oxidizing us and consume more things that are antioxidants because when we do those antioxidants, they are negatively charged, they bring down that oxidation reduce that inflammation and they're a fountain of youth. And a great example is, or a bad example would be these bananas that are breaking up me. <laughs> um, these are oxidizing in real time. And so we don't want to get old. We don't want to age like this. And so we want to really be mindful of what we're consuming. In order to do this test, I have an ORP meter. It stands for oxidative reduction potential or the potential to reduce oxidation. We're gonna put this, turn it on and put in these beverages. If we see a positive number, that means it's oxidizing us and creating more sickness and dis-ease in the body. However, if we see a negative number, it is an antioxidant, it's bringing down that inflammation, essentially gonna keep us looking young and youthful, all right? Let's see what we get here with Penta water. All right, Penta is not playing games. It's jumping already to 300. Okay, so this water is oxidizing. This is really oxidizing water. Um, and it's still going up, right? Because it's coming in contact with the air. Let's go ahead and take a look at our electrolyzed reduced water. Let's see what we get there. And this one, we are getting a negative 800. See that dash? A negative 800 right there in the beginning. So that shows that this is full of antioxidants. And that's fantastic. And I know many of you are thinking, oh, I'll just get my antioxidants from my fruits and vegetables. And the thing though is, yes, you will receive antioxidants from that. However, it leaves an ash. After it consumes all the nutrients from it, it leaves an ash. And that ash is oxidizing. <laughs> so we, we want to consume an antioxidant. And our, the cool thing about water is it gets absorbed into the body and it leaves nothing behind, which is awesome. So there we have it for our first test on antioxidants. As we see, this water is really oxidizing. Um, and if I wasn't doing any more tests, that's, that's really all we need to know about this water is good for our health. But I do have two other tests. And so let's go ahead and knock those out. All right, on for our second test, which is on alkalinity. And this is the one that many people know about because you're always looking for different waters, uh, different things that balance out our pH, right? And so this is in specific, in specifics to our blood. Our blood must stay or remain around a 7.365. If we get too acidic, then our body is still gonna try to maintain that balance in our blood. It's just gonna start taking the nutrients 
start taking the minerals, those electrolytes, pet potassium, magnesium, calcium from us, okay? So start taking it from our bones, our joints, and our ligaments, okay? So that's why we wake up and we're cracking, we're cracking uh, bones and things. We're like, what's going on? Why am I popping and locking? Um, and then if that continues to happen, we're gonna start to get osteoporosis and even Alzheimer's because it's gonna start taking it from our brain. And we're gonna go through brain fog, different things like that. So we want to consume things that are alkaline because it's gonna provide balance for all the acidity that we're consuming day in and day out. What I got here are pH drops. And what I'm gonna do is put a few drops in each of these waters. If we see a red or orange or yellow, that means it's acidic and it's eating the minerals and electrolytes that's in our body. However, if we see a blue, purple, dark purple, it means it's alkaline and bringing that balance. So let's see what we get. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is, uh, I don't even think that's the normal yellow of a normal bottled water. Um, and it makes sense, right? Um, and I'll, I'm going to share why uh, in a second. This is ultra purified water. Okay. So anytime you read a water and it says, oh, this is purified, it is going to be acidic. Okay. And this is a darker yellow than your normal bottled waters because they... They went through, let me see. Let's see, it says this is, this says live pure, okay? Um, source from a natural aquifer, Penta water was taken through a patented 13 step purification process to extract all impurities, all. Uh, the result is the purest bottled water available with less than one part per million dissolved solids, a difference you can taste and feel. You're gonna feel this because it's, gonna, it's leaching all the minerals from you. Okay, so your water, water is not just water. Like even out in nature or anywhere, it, it has minerals and stuff from the rocks it hits and things like that. What they did here was they took it from the aquifer, that's awesome, and then they removed everything. Not just the, the contaminants, the bad stuff, they removed all the minerals and that leaves you with acidic water, okay? So anytime you're, you're looking at the water, and it's acidic, or sorry, not acidic, it's purified, it's distilled, it's done through reverse osmosis. Look at the labels on your bottle. Um, that water is going to be acidic and it's going to leach minerals out of you. Um, and you're going to feel it, okay? Your bones are going to hurt worse. Um, and then, yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, this is ultra purified water, ultra purified. And you see the results right here. Okay. On the other hand, our electrolyzed reduced water here is a nice royal purple. Kind of like what this bottle is right here, right? And it's going to battle back any acidity that we're consuming when it comes to our daily lives of all the delicious foods that we eat. All right, so this is acidic. Ultra purified. So once again, when you hear purified, no, it's not good. Let's take a look at our third and final test, superior hydration. Alrighty, on to that third and final test, which I like to call superior hydration. And just imagine like when you're really thirsty, when you feel really thirsty, and you just down a bunch of water, right? What ends up happening? It just sits in our stomach, just like cook hook. Like it just sits there and you're just like, man, I can't do jumping jacks. I can't do backflips without throwing up all this water, right? And so you have to wait for it to process. This water <clears throat> is normally too big. And so what we want to do with this test here is we're going to try to make tea. We want to see if the water is actually small enough to pass through the tea bag, which is dehydrated, and see if it gets hydrated at a cellular level. So this is just a representation. Um, so what we're going to do here is try to make tea. So let's go ahead, let's try this pinto water here, and let's see what we get. All right, so try to get this bag wet. And so we're jumping up and down. You shouldn't have to jump up and down to get hydrated, but let's see what we get. I'm just, it's not hydrating us. Look, it's not, if you've seen me do these videos before, you've seen other waters 
hydrate at a faster rate than this and I'm just constantly dunking. And I'm slowly getting something now, very slowly. Um, and yeah, just, just look at this, this is insane. Um, let me go ahead and try this electrolyzed reduced water. Boom, immediately makes tea. It's like 40 times, like at least 400 times stronger than this right here. This is like, I'm, I barely did any work to make tea. But I know what you're probably thinking. You're like, well, print this, the bag was already wet. So let's try it again. And you're right, the bag was wet. We'll see it again. <laughs> let's see if maybe, maybe it'll work this time. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. And I'm, I'm trying, man. <laughs> like, this stuff, okay, it's making a little bit now, but it, I think it's partially, mainly from the residual of this one. It's not, it's not doing it. We aren't getting a lot of tea out of this, okay? So think about this. If we want to get hydrated at a cellular level and we don't want our mouth to be dry, then this is clearly not the water. It's, it's barely making tea, right? And so you're like, what does this have to do with making tea? Here's what it has to do with it. <laughs> Your, the water molecules, when you make tea, they get so small that they're able to pull out the nutrients from the tea. Um, and the thing though is you don't, you shouldn't have to boil the water to make tea. Look at that. So with the right water, we can actually hydrate you better. All right, so um, there you have it, just did three different tests, right, on this water, on this Penta Ultra Purified Water. The first thing we tested it for was antioxidants. And we saw that this water is oxidizing, it's off the church set around a 300, um, and it was going up. Second thing we tested for was alkalinity, and we saw that this is acidic because it's purified through 13 stages, a 13 step purification process, which is wild, congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Um, and then the last test we did was on alkalinity and we are sorry, superior hydration. And we saw that this doesn't hydrate us. Um, in fact, we know it leaches the minerals from our body. It doesn't hydrate us. And this is in the health stores. So you're paying, people are paying more for water that's making them worse. You feel thirsty and then what do you do? You go out, you buy more. All right. So that concludes this test. If you are serious about your health, hopefully you learned something about this water, share it with someone who drinks this Penta water, and I look forward to checking you out, connecting with you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, Click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.